Hello, I'm back on the boardwalk experiment, emptying my traps, and I thought I'd show you how I do it in the field. So, um, with the environmental change network trapping, what I do is I have these lidded cups, and I just literally take the lid off of my empty cup, take my trap out, lid on there, and then I can put this one back in there. I've also got in this um, transect these little wire, wire little madoodles. They are because this transect has a lot of rodent bycatch, so the rodents can come and they actually just can bounce off of that, unlike the beetles, which actually get caught. So you, you reduce the actual the rodents falling in the traps with that. So I put that in the thing. But I thought I would show you how I actually would go about it in an alternative way if I was taking these back to say the farm office to look through them like that and or to store them full term just from the trapping. So in this case if you wanted to tube up the samples or even just put them in a jam jar you would pour off the excess fluid into another container that you take with you. Now I'm going to lose some of these ants because I'm trying to do it quickly but if you're not interested in the ants then that doesn't really matter too much. We just try not to lose any of the beetles. So we try to get so that you have that um, interesting uh, sulfur day lava there. Try to keep all of the beetles on the edge of that cup with the surface tension of the water and try to pour off the water. You get quite practiced at this when you do it a few times in a row. So just try not to lose the beetles. Keep a little bit of fluid in the cup so that we can swoosh it into the tube. So I think that's probably okay. So you should get rid of these pieces of grass as well because they're going to interfere. Make sure there's not some interesting beetles on them. Swoosh it around so you get those beetles at the bottom and then just pour it in. Oh, that grass is getting in the way there. Uh, there's a few beetles left in there because I haven't done it very well. So pour some fluid back in, swoosh them a bit, and try again. Grass is trying to get in the way. The other thing you can do to get a bit more of the fluid from your cup, pour that in, swoosh them around again. Make sure you've got everything in there. There's your tips of brain as well. And swoosh. Tube of beetles. 